Yes, I'm all ready to go. Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Tony Derrick. Yes, I was just getting ready, listening, reading all the comments. My name is Tony Derrick. This is the How to Craft Network studio. Welcome back. Aren't you getting a, uh, a lot of, of me of late? <laughs> lots of videos, lots of giveaways, lots of chat in studio as well. Yes, I'm on one today. Literally on one. So um, everybody better be watching or else you'll be in trouble. I know where all of you live. I know where Spider-Man lives. I know where Batman lives. We've now got a Wonder Woman. You're all in trouble. Big trouble. I'm all joking. <laughs> Let's say hello to our friends. Oh, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're brand new to our channel. We have lots of new subscribers. I don't know what happened last week, but my gosh, there were lots of new ones, whether that's Emma helping out with that one with her fans and friends. I'm not sure, but we had a lot of subscribers last week. So welcome to the channel, everyone. We're not always stupid, I promise you. We do do normal things sometimes. So don't forget to click that subscribe button. There is also a little bell, which will give you that half an hour notice. And sometimes there is a little HD button, which gives you a better viewing experience as well. So the How to Craft channel network is where you can come and have some fun with me, my friends and just come and get some hints and tips maybe you're in a little bit of a hole at the moment you've got all this stuff it's a little bit overwhelming and we need some help so i'm going to help you hopefully dig something out of your stash that you probably wouldn't have normally put your hands on and that's why i stand here every day whether it be our products or somebody else's so let's say hello to some friends hi sheila michaela linda hi joe phil suzanne Sian. Shirley, thank you for my um, gift today, Shirley, and the beautiful card. Thank you so much, super kind lady. Bridget, Charlotte. My gosh, so a couple of things just want to tick off. One, I made a mistake yesterday on my Facebook Live in relation to the Create Together Club. I said postage, the first postage was part of the deal where you didn't have to pay postage, but unfortunately, I told a lie. And I got in trouble for it this morning because my team now are dealing with hundreds of emails. So basically, it's $29.99 for the Create Together Club and then the $2.99 for the first one. Then after that, it's free postage. So if you're looking why, why you're not getting free postage, it's because it was never free anyway. I told a lie. <laughs> How do I lay straight in bed at night? I'm not sure. But if you have any problems on a serious note and you want to chat with us, you know where to get us. We're on Facebook and info at stampsbyme.co.uk. The girls are still in until two o'clock if you've got any problems. Okay, so couldn't do without it. Don't. Oh, you're, too, you're all just too nice. Too nice. So did you all enjoy last night's chat? Um, it was really nice just to be quite relaxed, wasn't it? And just have a cup of tea and just have a question and an answer chat. And Tut, 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 you need to be, Spider-Man's beating me up, everybody. Spider-Man. She says she's going to be on the door at her um, Stamping Together Festival. She's going to be there. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll do with Enid. Next time she comes to the shop, which is all the time, I will get a picture of her and I'll post it on social media. <laughs> then you can see who Spider-Man and Batman actually really are. So they're only Spider-Man and Batman at night and through the day they are Enid and Peter. So, yep, it was lovely to have a chat. It was, wasn't it? So hopefully I answered some of your questions. We did put the world to rights, which is also cool. Um, but today we're going to have some lovely inspiration. And I'm going to use this one. Joy in every day. I have put this on at a special price. And the reason why I've done that is because the one that was on special price today sold out before I even walked in the building this morning. So I didn't have anything to craft with. So I've put this one on. Um, this is half price and this is in FBL for those people that missed out on this morning's one. I tried to pick a similar-ish one, she says. So go and have a look at that one. Then there's not many of these ones either. So don't be, don't be beating me up. Yeah, I'm always in trouble, Elaine. Everybody beats me up. <laughs> so I'm going to be totally different today. No splat. Carol saying, what did she miss yesterday? You need to go to Stamps by Me. Facebook page and have a look on there. We've got a fabulous giveaway. Go and comment on the giveaway. I'm giving a Eureka away. We've got a giveaway on the USA page for the USA fans. So if you are watching from the USA or anywhere other than the UK, we have a fabulous giveaway on the Stamps by Me USA page. And then we had a chat and a coffee last night in my kitchen. So, um, and I think I'm going to do that more often. 
I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the questions. I enjoyed answering them for you in stuff that I wouldn't normally be able to do in Creative Studio. So I might just do maybe uh, a coffee and chat once a month, maybe at home, maybe. Let me know your thoughts if you would like to do that, coffee and a chat and talk about things, anything uh, once a month, let me know. Drop a comment underneath this video, let me know. So I'm going to use Join Every Day. And it's that super large floral, which is this one, guys. So you know how it's like extended in design, so it's long and thin. So traditionally, they come in floral clusters. So we're trying to create composition with different shapes. So this is a long and thin one, and it comes with the coordinating die, which cuts it out. And it also has the mat and layers. So if you're a fan of building your design and the mat and layers, you've, you literally are good to go. So have we all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? And my coffee cup today says, never underestimate the power of a woman with a dash, on, a dash hound. Nathan's going to show you it now. I'll get rid of my lip gloss. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. There we go. So if, you, if you're thinking about it, don't. I have a dash hound under my table. She's a little bit antisocial. Not under this table, under my desk. <laughs> She's not under here, I promise you. Don't be sending anybody around to get her. Sounds good. Sound, oh, you all want to chat, dear. we we'll put the world to rights, couldn't we, I suppose? So let's be creative. That's why you've all come. So first of all, I wanted to do some like off-the-edge stamping. So I have this sort of DL style, slimline DL, whatever we're all calling it these days. And I have the die. Now, first of all... Because I have two shapes, it really doesn't matter which one I'm going to use. So I think I'm going to go the smaller one. Yes, let's go small. Or should we go bigger and then you can see the design? Yeah, let's go big. If you've got two designs in your stash, then you can use two. If you got the one this morning, this, this technique works beautifully with the one that you bought this morning. But if you haven't got either and you're looking in your stash, look for something that's tall and thin, okay? Tall and thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my design onto my plate here. So it's my, I've just folded it down the centre. So it's like a long and thin card. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the die. I'm just going to sort of let it cut. Um, let's say. Let's do this much of the design on my piece of paper here. On my card, sorry. And I'm just going to tape it down. And then we'll just hold it in place when I've decided. Like so. And because my plates are covered in ink, I just got a piece of paper just to cover because I don't want it to muck in my card blank underneath. Because I've got loads of ink on my mat and it needs cleaning. And that's Simon's fault. So Simon, if you're watching, I know where you live. Let's stick this through. So I'm just trying to create that edge across beautiful detail edge down the side of that card there. Isn't it hot? Is anybody else crafting today? I'll show you how mucky that Look, that's how mucky the plate was. That's just showing you the ink that's gone onto there. That would have gone onto my card blank. Naughty Simon. for beating him up. So, let's just take this off here. Very carefully. <laughs> Move that tape without tearing it onto my card blank or else that will ruin it. I'm just taking that sticky tape off there, hopefully without tearing my card. So you get sort of this, which I'm not using anyway, but I'll show you a technique using the excess. Let me just get rid of this tape on here. Now, if you have, if you get this sort of sticky design where it stays on the cardstock, just get an eraser and rub it away. It does come away. Okay, so I'll just get rid of that too. There we go. So I have now, in effect, this sort of look. Can we see that there? So the design is put away. So let's just move this to one side.
and I'm just reading, trying to read the comments as well. So what I'm going to do here, I hope this one's fine, is, whoopsie daisy, I'm just going to pop this into my tool here, and I'm just going to hold it in place. You see this here? Whoopsie daisy. Best I can anyway. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the stamp, and I'm just going to stamp the stamp into the design. So it goes onto the back. I hope this makes sense at all. I'm just going to place it first. And then when I'm happy it's in place, I'll open, mind you, I'm just going to, sorry, I'll just move it over a little bit because my card's not going to open. There we go. I need to have space for my card to open. Hopefully. Pop in there like that. And because I've used the bigger die, I've got a little bit more space. And then I'm just going to open this up here and I'm just going to hold it in place. Now, my stamp is, is hung over my Eureka a little bit here, but I'm not over precious about it. It should still give me a nice print. So let's just get rid of that tape on there. I'm just going to pick up this stamp. And I'm going to stamp it in black. So bearing in mind, I only need half of the stamp, but it's this half I need. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to craft in the heat. See, I'm good with heat. I'm often cold. So, I'm just going to stamp this down here. And then what happens is you get the design on that side of the page. So, when you remove it, our card starts to come together with a sort of recess on the front and the design on the back. Okay. There we go. Super easy. Let me just clean off my stamp then, because I have got a second demo and I need it to be clean. But there's quite a cool technique that drops out of sort of creating this cool card. Just clean this off. Put that back on the carrier sheet. So the part, make sure my hands are clean. So the part that pulls out, what you can do if you wanted to decorate the card further, and I will actually do it if I've got, um, i just grab a sponge door, but I just won't be a second. What you can do is you see this part here that we cut from this design here. See that here? If you sort of like hold it in place and then pop it down and remove this, we have like a mask to create like a halo around our artwork, which is really cool. So you can decorate it even further. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to take a pale pink and just add a beautiful halo around our artwork. Now, because the die is bigger, it's going to give me a clear white line around my artwork and then I'm going to get the halo around, which will be quite pretty, I think. So I'm just going to hold this in place. I'm going to grab that piece of paper that we used, or a piece of paper. Let's get rid of the excess off there so it's just really light onto my sponge job. And I'm just going to take the sponge job and push out, like creating like a soft halo. It won't be apparent at the moment, but it will do hopefully when I remove this sort of um, mask. It was just a very soft, soft, possible halo. Hopefully, you can see that. There we go. You can see it when I hold it down. Can you see that beautiful halo around there? 
it looks really really cool so the excess that we used to cut out the front there is only what i used to cast my halo in and around i'm just gonna add a little bit more because i think that's really pretty just add a little bit more further down so it's got balance and I, for the purpose of this um studio i'm just going to press on a little bit darker thank you so you can actually see it on camera it looks beautiful in a subtle pink however i'm just enhancing it a little bit more so you can see and it's evident that there is color around there but it is personal preference and i'm surmising you'll all be digging out your stamps and dies today and giving yourself giving your work a halo which is super cool super cool hey really really pretty have the courage there we go have the courage to add that halo because it really does enhance the design and what it means also is the design is on the inside of the card for a change rather than on the outside which is really pretty so then you're thinking well great i've got a pretty card but you know it's pretty boring on the front we see that there it is pretty boring on the front so let's bring the front together let me just um give myself a better um ball line on here so it goes flatter there we go so what i thought was i've just grabbed some scraps of whatever i've got in my stash i've got a piece of gold here and i felt like if we just edge the side of our card with maybe a piece of gold maybe a black and white strip let's have a look because the black and white ties in beautifully with pink and then I thought if we strip, added a strip of gold, just to make it look, it's still a really flat card, but it's just adding that little bit of detail to the front. So let's get this on here now. Let's see where it's going to take us. And I love these types of cards where, you know, you're um, just literally just thinking, well, how can, I make, how can I make this better? How can I improve? So I'm just going to pop the dark strip down this side. Like so. so we've got that sort of black and white deck there make sure it's straight and then the gold just trim that excess um tail off there and then the gold I'll just grab my glue here I'm just going to add some glue. Oh, Daisy, add some glue all the way down. I'm just going to get rid of the excess. This is a lot on there, and then we'll just sort of enhance that black and white line. That strip of gold, making sure it's straight. Oh, Sue really likes this. <laughs> it is a little bit different, isn't it, right? And then what I thought we could possibly do is we've still got a strip of the black. And if you have your washi tape, um, have a, did I grab my washi tape? Just one second. If you have your washi tape sentiments or, you, I mean, there is some beautiful sentiments within that stamp set. You could absolutely, let's just actually see if the sentiments, see if we can keep it all with the, if you have bought it, you literally are going to be okay. Oh yes, let's stick with the stamp. Let's stick with the stamp. It's a beautiful one. Let's just grab our Eureka here. So we've got you made it. Now you could pop this on pads if you didn't want the flat card. I might do it a little bit higher. 
but it is just personal preference. This probably would look nice, like matted onto black and white and then padded. But, you know, I'm going with it. Now, this image would look beautiful painted if you've got time to paint it as well. And then whilst it's been held in place, I'm just going to pop some sequins or some gems around there. Just a few clear sparkly ones. Just one of those things, pop it down, don't you? And then all of a sudden it all comes gushing out. I'm just going to pop three on. So I think the design itself is pretty enough without all of the fancy stuff. Just pop it back in here. So let me just this and I'll just show you the cards stood up really different there we go I'll just turn it so you can just see inside there we go what do you think to that one something a little bit different there guys so the offcuts when you're using your Barclay glitter cards gold mirror equally as beautiful um, so anyway, so let's just move this one away. I just want to just show you as well, just another quick card, very, very quickly, because I felt like this stamp doesn't need you to colour it. It just speaks volumes. It's beautiful. So I just wanted to sh show you another very clean and simple card design. So again, I have a card here. So it's a side fold card. I normally use top fold, as you know, but today I'm going with the side fold, which is really different for me. And I'm just going to take the stamp again. And seeing as we're doing half designs, okay, I'm going to do half design on this side. But I'm not going to die cut, okay? I'll show you in a second. And this time, I'm going to stamp it in grey. These are one layer cards, okay? They look dimensional, but they're one layer cards. And I'm using grey flannel in the memento. This is the only grey one I have to hand, really. So let's get this one down. Just make it a little bit darker so you can all see it. This would look beautiful in a navy ink pad. Absolutely stunning. So let's just put this to one side. So you can, if you wanted to, you can use your sponge doll, but add a little bit of pink. I'm not dipping it in, I'm just literally in the centre of the flower, getting that lovely little pink suggestion. So I haven't dipped it back in the ink pad. I'm just using the ink that's on here from when we did our first card. You just get that beautiful, very soft. So let's just, um... Now you could leave it as is and just pop a sentiment here in like a gold embossing. Few sequins, you can do that. And I probably will add a gold embossed uh, sentiment. What I did want to show you, though, and you're all probably thinking, you're going to ruin it, you're going to ruin it. And you can ruin it. This is why you do a swatch. So I've just got a piece of cardstock here. And I've just got a very, very pale grey ink pad. Can we see this here? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline some of the design. And what that will do is when you're actually looking at it, it'll look like it's got pads underneath when it's completely flat. So I always say, have, have the courage to do the splat. 
And sometimes if you have the courage to do that outline, you can create a completely different look as well. Yeah, landscape as well, Amanda. Absolutely. Uh, Chase it. Oh, finger dogs. I'm not sure. I don't think we've got any on order at the moment. I think we had some difficulty with them. A lot of the cases were crushed when we had them. So leave it with me, though. I'm just going to take the grain. Now, this is my alcohol marker, but it has a bullet and a brush. So it's personal preference. I'm going to go with a brush. I'm just going to gently add a very soft outline. Now, I'm just going to do it all down one side. I'm going to pull that all in because that would be a shadow. I'll just do it down the side and then when I hold it up, you, you guys can be the judge of whether you think it looks like it's been raised on pad when it's completely flat. I'm trying to do this quick without a tremor. Sorry, I'm not looking up, I'm just concentrating on trying to get it right. And because it's alcohol market, it evaporates, okay? So it will always dry a shade or two lighter than if when you first initially put the colour down, okay? So as you can see, that's way lighter than the part I'm on now. I probably could have gone actually a shade darker and gotten away with it, but... At least you all get the idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. Bring it all the way down the stem there. Probably needs to be darker. So I'm just basically outlining the image. I'm going to go fast now because it's a really light pen and I've got the confidence that it looks okay. So I'm just going to quickly go around here. And then hopefully we'll be able to show you it looks dimensional. Now, I'm picking myself now. I'm thinking I should have gone a little bit darker. But be the judge of your colour of grey. Now, the outlines look really well in a grey, a very pale blue, or a very pale purple. And these are the things that make things look white when we colour them. Try not to go inside your image. Try and keep it neat if you can. And we could probably get away with going around this block. A bit darker. Practically disappeared, hasn't it? But okay. I'm not going to grab a darker one because I like to test and things like that. But if I hold it up, does it show? If I hold it up, does it look like it's got pads underneath, Nathan? Enid, uh, I, I don't know how they're selling. I don't know if I, it's showing the shadow. Let's see how we get on. I'll see if I can show you. But it, the shadow makes it look like it's got pads on and it's raised when it's absolutely flat. No, it's too light. Don't worry about it. Maybe we'll capture it in the photo. Or maybe, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll go around it with a little bit of a darker grey, the one that I have courage with for the photo. So it'll look like it's got dimension on there. So I'm just going to quickly add a sentiment here from the same set. And then some sparkles. And then you bring joy to our lives. Absolutely gorgeous sentiment. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to do it protruding onto the image rather than just floating and well, let's put it in bottom corner because we can. I'm going to go totally over part of my image because I think it looks really pretty and really artistic when you take sentiments through your design. So I'm just going to use an anti static bag here. I'm going to do it in gold. So this is going to look like a shop bought card, very subtle in the greys, the gold embossed. Lot of words. And if you like your clean and simple cards, well, 
We're going to be on to a winner with this one. Let's do it one more time just in case I've missed anywhere. Hold on here. And then let's heat set this one. Just grab a dry brush and just get rid of the powder, keep it as neat as possible. Get your gun hot. Oh, Julie's saying she could see the, out, the outline on a close-up shot when you outlined it. Oh, thanks, Julie. It should be a little bit darker. Having that courage to go that little bit darker without it looking like it's an outline, does that make sense? Any news on the website for non-Facebook members? Yep, you'll get in a newsletter, Susan. So if you've signed up for our newsletter, it will all be sent through that as well. The club, SBM Club, goes live on Thursday. The stamp set, Sue, is called Joy in Every Day. Joy in Every Day. If you pop FBL into the search engine, it will be on there. Sentiments on here, uh, some sparkles. Oops, a daisy, some sparkles on here. Just some tiny ones again. If you've got your sparkle pens, you could make the flower heads sparkly. One for Stephen. So Roxanne, Claire is no longer with us. Claire's doing her own thing, I believe. I'm just going to pop some sparkles there, there, and maybe one on the design as well. Work in threes. Two, and one more. We have the most gorgeous card. Can't see them now because they're that clear. Well, let's show you the two cards today. A little bit different, hey? And if you are wanting to see if money I'm posted, they're flat, they're completely flat. Today's. Let me just spread them apart. They look like a blend. Oh, there could be a matching set though, couldn't they? Hey, and that lovely gold embossed sentiment on there. Look how gorgeous that is. Really, really pretty. But there we go. Two pretty cards today. That's a lovely card. Susan says thanks. I'll take that one. Very classy cards. Thanks. I'll take that one too. <laughs> Where do I get my ideas from? I have no idea. <laughs> Question, do you sell these sparkles? They're on the way, Carol. Not long. Um. <laughs> on in. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, right. Okay, so I'm with you tomorrow, Wednesday, one o'clock with something else. And then we have some very, very exciting shows on Friday. Friday at one o'clock. Emma's live in the HTCN studio, actually physically live in here. And we have a counter full of brand new products for you. So exciting. So, so cool too. So 
So I hope you can come and say hi. If nothing else, uh, if you have all the craft stash in the world and your house is about to burst, that's absolutely fine. Come and see the inspiration still, because Emma has just got loads of stuff going on at the moment and she's been telling me what she's going to do. I'm like, I'm just glad I'm the presenter. I'm, oh, and by the way, I'll get you a messy mat from my counter because if you get paint on my counter, I'll beat you up. Because I beat everybody up. Okay, so that's it, guys. Don't forget to pop a comment underneath this video. What did I ask you to comment about? Oh, the live chat. Would you like me to do a once a month chat, coffee and cake? Question and answer session, once a month, about anything, designs you'd like to see, um, products we've launched, stamp clubs, that, anything. Pop a comment underneath here and let me know if it's something you want me to do. And I'll get back to you all. So I'll see you all tomorrow, one o'clock. Take care, everyone. Bye.